I'm here this afternoon with Bill Mackey from Schuylkill County who circulated petitions for Sheila Dow Ford. Uh, Bill, tell us some about what you experienced uh, in Schuylkill County while you were working for uh, Sheila. Well, I, I really didn't have any bad experiences. People, a, lot, a lot of people wouldn't sign it, you know, for whatever reason. They know Tim. Tim's been in there a long time. Uh, and and uh, this would be the first time that I didn't sign this petition because I'm living there. And some people people did, surprisingly, you know, kind of surprised me. But, uh, yeah, I... I uh, I just think it's 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 part of the political process. I don't think it's a, it's a big deal. Some people view you as a traitor. I mean, if, you, if this is a primary, my God, I'm a Democrat my whole life. I'm a Democrat longer than Tim Holden is. Who viewed you as a traitor? I just think people get that perception. Okay. I mean, Were there any repercussions from the the Democratic Party or from the Congress? Well, some people had I heard, I heard you know hearsay. They said some nasty things about me. And, you know, how could I do this or whatever? I, I do this. I, I just don't think it's, 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 if you take all the people, there's people out there that, that like Jack Wagner, people like Honorado, people that like Joe Huffle, they're all good people. But does that mean that everybody hates each other, that they're all, tra they're all traitors? Then? I mean, th we should have more primaries. Primaries are great because the people, you know, get to know who, who they're voting for. And the reason I, I'm uh, supporting Sheila, <laughs> Sheila Dow Jones is because of health care. Because it was a big thing. Abs absolutely. Uh, we need it. We just need it. Especially in, in Schuylkill County. I, I just think nothing's happening. Schuylkill County hasn't changed. I'm 66 years old. When I was a kid, we were in the bottom of the barrel and everything. We were worse than unemployment in, in the 50s. We were, we were worse than, you know, we're always at the bottom. As things go up, you know, it, it, when we come out of this recession, and we are coming out of it slow, but I'm sure, we're here in Schuylkill County, and the rest of the state's here. And then what's going to happen is it'll go up. Schuylkill County will go up a little, but we'll never get out of out of the cellar. It's we're like the Chicago Cubs. You know, we're always in the basement, and it doesn't matter what our record is. We're always in the basement, whether we go up or not. And, and they just had a study now where I guess we just qualified for uh, bonds from, uh, which are a good thing, from Barack Obama, and they go to the poorest counties in the United States and, and Schuylkill, Schuylkill County qualifies. And, and to me, that's that's kind of a, a testimony to the kind of political leadership we have in the county. Mm -hmm. uh, was anything done to you personally uh, 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 as far as uh, retaliation because you uh, circulated petitions, the county executive board or anything like that? No, I don't think so. I, I haven't been reappointed to the executive committee, but I, I, don't, I didn't get a reason. I got an email. Okay. But I, I'm, it may have something. But I really don't care because we never did anything anyway. So. Okay. Now, you ran against uh, Dave Argel. Yes. Uh, a couple times. You know uh, the senator quite well from living in his district and running against him. Uh, what are your opinions about him running for this congressional seat? Well, I, I, I think he's, he's very ambitious. He, he didn't, the seat didn't get warm in, in the Senate. Believe me, I have no love for Dave Argel. <laughs> I'm not going to vote for Dave Argel, no matter, no matter what. And... and uh, Dave Argall and Tim Holden are so much alike, it's, it's unbelievable. They, they do the same thing, bring some, you know, cardboard checks out. You know, I, I want people who are going to stand up and fight, and, and this is the time to fight. If we don't get health care, you know, I, I'm a single-payer universal health care guy. That was part of my campaign, so maybe, maybe that's the reason I, you know, I can do it. I, I don't know, but I believe in it. I'm not going to hide behind anything, and I'm for single-payer universal health care, but that... And, and it's tough to see how this bill got watered down because of people like the Blue Dogs and, and some of these gutless uh, senators we have in the United States that are, are on the line or are trying to blackmail to get something for their district. I mean, this needs to be done. And if we don't do it now, it keeps getting watered down, but we need to do it, and it doesn't have what I want in it. But if we don't do it now, it's going to be just like when the Clintons tried to get health care in. It's going to be 15, 20 years again before these people get the courage up or get a leader like Barack Obama to bring this up again because it's going to be put on a back burner and my grandchildren will be down there marching for health care again. And we need to do something. Well, it all comes down to leadership, doesn't it? Uh, whether or not you have a leader representing you or a follower. Oh, exactly. Sure. And, and what this is, is, is uh, I'm not your typical politician. I believe in term limits. And this 
uh, Tim Holden's race is a, a, a fine example of why we need term limits. And, and when you look at all the reasons, all these people are giving reasons why Democrats that can't vote for, for health care, it's because they're worried about getting reelected. They're not worried about the people. What's wrong with doing the right thing? And if you get beat, you get beat. So what? Then you can probably sleep nights. All right. Well, thank you.